Palatine Sisters in Toledo yesterday celebrated the feast day of their founder, St. Vincent Palotti, and their outstanding services in southern Belize. The activities began with Wednesday evening celebration of liturgy at Our Lady of Fatima Church at Novitiate Nazareth, Toledo, where coordinator of the event, Sister Katerina, spoke the love news. Today we are celebrating our holy founder, St. Vincent Palotti, such a privilege to celebrate his life. He is a servant of God and answer his yes to him devotedly and respectfully. And he taught us how to be hospitable, charitable with all people we meet and we work with. St. Vincent Palotti is a person not of all words, but of all deeds. That's why we are celebrating and he is our founder. All Palatine throughout the world are celebrating this feast day today. Thereafter, the Palatine sisters and friends at the event joined in a reception at Novitiate Nazareth Retreat Center, where gratitude was echoed in honor of St. Vincent Palotti for mission of the Palatine sisters in this district. Opening remarks at the reception recapped on the inspirations of St. Vincent Palotti and the historical arrival of the first Palatine sisters to Punta Gorda by sea vessel Africola on May 30, 1931. The Palatine arrival here were with dedication and perseverance, quality service and hard work, along with prayers of thanksgiving to the Lord and St. Vincent Palotti for their new home in Punta Gorda then and now in the Novitiate Nazareth in Forest Home community. It was noted that Palatine sisters served dedicatedly in providing their students with a well-rounded education at Fairview, now Little Flower R.C. School in Forest Home, and St. Peter Crever School in Punta Gorda, where in addition to students' high academic achievements, students practiced good manners and were taught to maintain positive attitudes and values needed to survive in life. During their past years of dedicated service at the Punta Gorda Hospital, the Palatine Sisters worked with limited facilities and equipment, but with dedicated support staff of Belizeans, they made much of what was available and provided quality health care services to all who sought treatment. The Palatine Sisters trained many young ladies at the convent in this district in varied domestic skills, while others made regular apostolic trips through challenging rainy weather and bad road conditions to some of the most remote Toledo communities where the sisters were continuously warmly welcomed as they joined the villagers in the celebration of the Eucharist. The celebration event additionally kept in mind that the Palatine sisters have done similarly and more in other parts of Belize during their outstanding and dedicated services for over 100 years in Belize. Reporting for Love News from Novitiate Nazareth in Toledo, I am Paul Mahone.